ticket to Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's upcoming Manchester summit could set attendees back more than £3,000, a price tag subjected to heated debate. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are due to visit the UK next month to attend a series of charity events close to their hearts. One of these is the One Young World Summit on September 5. The four-day conference aims to gather the brightest young leaders from every country and sector with the ambition to confront the biggest challenges facing humanity. However, only those youngsters able to fork out £3,150, without accommodation and travel costs, will be able to hear from Meghan throughout a series of transformative speeches, panels, networking, and workshops. Some expressed fury over the event's ticket prices, with one member of the public calling saying it was delusional from the Duke and Duchess to think people would be willing to waste £1,000 a day. A Twitter user under handle at Pooja3371973 said, who in their right mind would waste £1,000 of their hard-earned cash to listen to a bunch of unqualified, preachy and hypocritical nonsense from Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Delusional thinking on their part. At TJ underscore Duchess wrote, if they truly wish to change the narrative or how others view them, to a more positive one, this isn't the way to do it. Charging people is telling us more about who they really are and what they truly want to achieve. At Stevesum 55318066 added, save your money, they have nothing of interest to say, it's all been said before by someone else. But others pointed out the cost of the summit is in line with other events of its kind. At JLD underscore 84 said, these summits usually are expensive. I'm a member of a professional body and I've seen them charge £1,000 for an event. It's not uncommon. The larger the event, the more it costs. According to conference organizers, the Sussexes will not get paid for the summit and 30% of young people attendees will be there on a scholarship. Delegates, most of whom are aged 18 to 30, either attend the summit through a partner organization such as a university or independently. Those without support from an organization can apply for a scholarship. Meanwhile, the price for returning attendees is significantly lower dash £1,820 without accommodation and 2880 with. The One Young World website reads, delegates participate in speeches, panel discussions and workshops about how, together and individually, we can take action to create a better world. Megan, 41, has been an ambassador for One Young World since 2014 and is due to give the keynote speech at this year's opening ceremony in Bridgewater Hall before she and husband Harry, 37, take part in a roundtable debate about equality. The Duchess said of her link to the charity, when I was asked to be a counsellor at One Young World my response was a resounding yes. One Young World invites young adults from all over the world who are actively working to transform the socio-political landscape by being the greater good. Some of the issues the organization tackles, she said, are human rights violations, environmental crises, gender equality issues, discrimination and injustice. Harry and Meghan's upcoming trip to the United Kingdom will mark their first since the Platinum Jubilee celebrations in June. A spokesperson for the US-based royals said they were delighted to be coming to the UK. The Duke and Duchess kept a low-key presence during the Jubilee, which was the first time the two made an appearance together at a royal engagement since 2020. During their September visit, Meghan and Prince Harry will also attend the Well Child Awards in London, where the Duke will give an address. Royal commentator Natalie Oliveri said she believes it is highly likely that Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle will be accompanied by cameras on their next trip to the United Kingdom. Cameras.